This is one of the most beautiful locations, I think, in Tasmania. It's a bit of a detour off for our West Coast adventure, which is going to be kind of Queenstown and Strawn. Um, but this, my mate's down from Queensland and just had to come and see this. It's like, insane. All right, Levi, what do you think of the dam? I've been here before. I actually got a tour by someone that took us. If you can see the big kind of rail cart thing that goes down, um, it goes all the way down to the bottom. Um, scary stuff, but there was a lot of other people here at the time and it was kind of sunny. I think that the West Coast is best experienced, in my opinion, while it's raining, while it's cloudy, while it's foggy, you just get this awesome landscape mm. um, of just mood. And I'll just love a bit of a moody vibe. What if I was starting to uh, come up? Six, eight? Six. Oh, 23 minutes over time. <laughs> <laughs> well, this cloud breaks up something, I'm still absorbed we here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to um, <laughs> get any sun. That's okay. It'll be freezing. When the fog clears up, you can start seeing what's going on. We've been driving for a fair while, a um, few hours. We went from Gordon Dam, uh, had breakfast at Ted's Beach, continued on, made dinner, grabbed a coffee. That was actually surprisingly good, would recommend. Um, the mountain bike park isn't open for another month or so, so that's something to be aware of, I guess, if you're traveling to Tasmania um, before the summertime. They still do maintenance um, on the track and all that sort of thing. We continued walking, I mean driving, and now we are at the wall, which is epic. I can't take the camera in though, so I guess this is all you guys get to see. But a little bit about it, from what I know, I've been here around 10 years ago and the guy's still been working on it, still unfinished, but it's all completely wood that he's just chiseling away at, telling the story, I think, of Tasmania or maybe even Australia. Yeah, I wish I could show you more, but I would highly recommend to come here, um, you'll get my impressions after we've been, um, as well as Bowen's, and we'll tell you what we think of it. I'm pretty keen. Just driven through Lake Burberry. Yeah. Some epic mountains. Right and then just at the side. Cafe Linda. A big old historical building right there, right on the cafe. Uncle and Arnie were telling me about this before. It lives up to it. it lives up to it. Sick. I'm keen to try the food. Yeah. Cool spot. Let's do it. Sweet. A vibe. Here. Hey, good. Hello. How are you? Good. 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 Thank you. So we've ordered, got a Reuben Bowen got brisket burger. This is literally the view from the cafe. Like, it's just an old shed. But <laughs> it's so, it's got so much character. Like, check out where we're sitting. You've got an area in there where we ordered the food. <laughs> I'm keen to have this mountain range as my view for lunch. Yeah. We'll wait, we'll give you guys a rundown on the food. Um, what did you think of the wall? That was, yeah, that was an incredible, incredible woodwork. Amazing paintings actually there as well. 
And uh, it just shows a lot of uh, history, like years and years and years of history on this big um, hand-carved wooden wall. It's absolutely phenomenal and uh, needs to be seen by other eyes. So if you get a chance, Sweet. do it as well. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah. Couldn't say anything more than that. Go check it out. It's, it's epic. Next time you're in Tassie, do it. Just finished up, 100%. Recommend, if, you, if you're driving down this road, like, look at this, the road's right here, and the cafe's just there, like, just stop. You'll, you'll thank yourself for it. <laughs> it's so good. Definitely will. So we just arrived. Um, really cool, you've got like lots of different small, Right next to the huts. Water. Right next to the water. You kind of like go into Strawn and out a little bit. And there's our. Bloody mud. There's our hideaway. Oh, yeah. Nice stuff. Look at that. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. You've got a nice little bench right here near fire. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's awesome. This is the perfect spot. Look at that. Look at the view. Fish there. Fire. I was going to go in and have a look. Yes! So we've got our bathroom. Yes! It's dug out. <laughs> a single bed. Um, I guess so. Didn't see why that on the ad. No, I was oh, expecting right. that would be the case. Yeah, and right. I was happy to take the couch, but no, the no, couch no, is not really. I sleep on the bed. Yeah, can't really sleep on that one. No. Nice and cozy. Little electric fire in there. Scrabble sequence board games. Have you got oh, storage underneath the internet. bed? Yeah, we'll get the Wi-Fi going. Yeah. This is epic. I love this. Oh, this is gonna be. Look at this. Look how steep this is. Freaking hell! <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> slipping. <sighs> oh, I wanted to run up here, but that's not gonna that's happen. That's not gonna happen. Oh. What's this place called? Henty Dunes. Yeah. <sighs> that last three minutes. <laughs> this is cool. Oh my god. That's steep. <sighs> we have made it to the dunes. I highly recommend visiting this place. Um, Henty Dunes. And yeah, just coming up and exploring. You can literally just climb there. Yep. Climb up there, and then you've just got access to all these dunes, which is awesome. I've seen quad bike tracks, so I think some people bring their quad bikes up, but yeah. you're probably not in Tasmania with a quad bike, so this is absolutely divine. We're just waiting for that sun to peek back through, grab some more photos, and then we'll head back to the Airbnb for the night um, and just rest up for the day ahead.
While we were at Linda Cafe yesterday, I uh, asked Linda, the cafe owner, uh, what we should see while we're in Queenstown. And she said something called the Confluence, which is a point, an intersection of two rivers. One has got all the contamination of like the mining and stuff that's happening in Queenstown, but that contaminates a crystal clear river that meets at this intersection point. So she said it's awesome to go check it out, see it. Um, it's great for photos, kind of annoying how this is allowed to happen and just contaminate everything downstream. And it's only 10 minutes south of Queenstown. So we were like, yeah, we can fit that in. The track so far has been really accessible. I'm just in sneakers. I don't think you need walking boots, nothing dangerous. So yeah, highly recommend so far. And we'll see what it looks like once we're actually at the bottom. Yeah, wow. We got some signage here. We saw it and it literally looks just like a wall, like of a mixing of, yeah, I don't even know. We'll have to go down there a little bit further to show you guys. 100%. So here is the dirty water. And there's the clean water mixing. <laughs> Even as a Tasmanian, hearing about Queenstown and the crazy scenery out here, like this diverse landscape, wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um, and yeah, it, it feels like America, like a Western Texas sort of area with how dry it is. Even this sort of boardwalk, like that's not something that you generally see in Tasmania. Um, so it was awesome to come out. So if you're driving through to Queenstown from the way from Hobart, then yeah, I'd say just stop off, do this. It'll take like 20, 30 minutes. Give yourself some time. Um, and yeah, enjoy the waterfall because it's, yeah, it's just a spectacular. Just even just the walk itself, um, I'd say it's definitely worth doing. Now our last spot before going all the way through back to Hobart is Nelson Falls. And this, it's actually way bigger than what we thought. Um, Montezuma Falls is somewhere we were planning to go and I'd recommend going there uh, if you have more time. But if you don't, this is literally like a 20 minute return walk and look at how gorgeous this is. <laughs> 